So, uh, your level is? Uh, A1. 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 Yours? Yeah, A1. A1. In the same class? Yes. yes. Who are your teachers? Sir. What are your teachers' names? Sevde. Sevde? And? You have two teachers. You don't remember? Um, you don't know. You don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, that's all right. Fantastic. So, uh, your students, high high school students, I guess. Yes. Which year? Eleventh. Uh, Eleventh. Yes. You too. Eleven. Uh, ten. Ten. Yeah. You are not happy with the school. Ten. You hate school? You hate the school too? Do you hate the school? No. I love. You love the school? Yes. What a surprise. What a surprise. Alright. And uh, which school do you go? Both. What is the name of the school? Where is it? Um, okay. All right. You walk there? Yes. There is no shuttle? Do you know shuttle? <clears throat> shuttle is a kind of small, kind of minibus or van. Hmm. No. Every day takes students to school and bring them back, takes them back. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Generally walk. Yes. I understand. You? Where is your school? Uh, Where is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you walk or you take a shuttle? You walk to school every day? Yeah. At what time does your school start? Uh, every day at what time your school starts? Twenty, twenty-two. Yeah. Okay. And what about your uh, school? <coughs> At what time does it start? Uh, seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Yes. Uh -huh. So, at what time do you get up generally? Uh, six o'clock. Six o'clock, and then one hour. Okay, prepare, then run. Yes. <laughs> At what time do you get up every morning? Uh, seven o'clock. Run eight. Okay, eight half. I mean half past eight. Let's say. That's interesting. And uh, until when? When does your school finish? Uh, half past twelve. Really? Yes. Half past twelve. Free. free. Just. Oh my god, that's nice. Mm -hmm. But mornings uh, are, are difficult. Because they are morning, morning is difficult, right? To wake up early. But you finish school early. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. Like you like that. And your school finishes? Uh, two. two? Three, three. three o'clock. Yes. They study more than you, right? Uh, my lessons is time this time. Our lessons is. 
For example, how long? Um, how many minutes? 40? 30. 30. 35 minutes, one lesson. Uh, yes. Mm, that's nice. Um, is your school a state school or private school? What what type of school do you have? A state school or private state, state government? Government, okay. Right? Yours? A state school or private school? Uh, state. state school. Nice. And um, uh, how many minutes is is one, for example, lesson? Forty minutes. Forty. 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 Thirty-five. Yes. That's nice. Hmm, that's interesting. Different systems. I like that. And uh, what what is your favorite subject in school? English. English. Yes. Really? You yes. like it? Yes. You wanna be an English teacher? Uh, do you want Do you want to be an English teacher? No. I don't like. You don't teachers. like. Being a teacher, you want to be translator? Yes. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's nice. Yours? Um, maths. Mathematics. So you want to be an engineer? Do you have any plan? Are you going to study in university? Do you have a plan to go to university? No university? High school finish? So, I will go to university. Uh, what is your plan? What do you want I study? What department major do you like to study in university? Why? That is a problem. Really? When you, when you start high school, you should know your plan. Really? You must know, and you are in 10th grade, right? At 10? Your grade is 10? So, at 10, you have to know. If you can't, you have some other types of teachers, I think, psychology teacher you have, right? Psychology in, you know, in, in high school. I think that teacher also deals with the majors and departments. You can talk to your teacher and say, can you help me? You should know, you should know what you are going to study in the future because minimum four five years in university minimum four minimum four years you will spend four years and you don't know what big problem really you should think about it one of the best way one of the best way is Go and talk to your teachers one by one. Talk to English teacher. Talk to mathematic teacher. Chemistry, I don't know, biology, history. Talk to all of your teachers. And say, teacher, what do you suggest? What is your suggestion? They will help. Then you think. Really? And... Uh, you want to be a translator or whatever it comes, you just continue in university. Do, do you just want to be a translator? Yes. Really? Yes. You decided. You have a plan. Uh, yes, I decided translator. To be a translator. Okay. Next year, 
11. Like a problem. Really? Think about it. Because time flies. Two years ago, Corona came. Two years ago. Right? Two years passed. Like two days ago. True? Now you say, oh, I, I am in a, at 10th grade. Okay, 11. It will come and go very quickly. Fast. You say, oh my God. I lost a lot of time. Go and speak to your teachers and ask their ideas, opinions. Really, they can help you. Amazing. Generally, when a student says, I like mathematics or my mathematics is good, mathematics is related to engineering, generally. Correct? Gen generally, engineers are really good at mathematics. <clears throat> Which means that you, you, should, you should know, let's say, your physics as a lesson, subject. Physics should be good. Mathematics should be good. Geometry. Do you study geometry? No, no geometry. Algebra. Uh, then, no, no, they... No, no, now no. they do not study. Next year? No. no. Then. When? When? Okay. Um. So, if you want to be an engineer, you should be good at mathematics, geometry, physics. Like 12th grade, 12, right? 12 is at the end of the period of no, high school. No, 10 period, 10? Final, period. second term. Yes. Mm, interesting. Okay, but you should be good at it. Because engineering is a big world. What type of engineer? Mechanical engineer, computer engineer, electrical engineer, software engineer, IT, lots of engineers, you know? What, what type of engineering? You should think about it. Number two, YouTube. Really? On YouTube? Type? Hello. On YouTube? Type? What should I study? You can type it in Turkish, I, th I think, no problem. What, what should I study in university? You will, how can I say, learn a lot of information. For example, for example, there is a YouTuber. He or she is an engineer, for example. He or she speaks about the engineering in university. Is that good, bad, easy, difficult, <clears throat> boring, interesting, nice? Then you will understand what type of major or department that engineering is. For example, I say, you want to be an engineer. Okay, what type of engineer? I don't know. Okay, type it on YouTube. Computer engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, industrial engineering, uh, what else? Lots of engineers, okay? Just type them one by one and listen and see. Is it difficult? Easy? Can you do it? Do you like it? Or the same for you? <laughs> the same for you, okay? On YouTube you can type. Uh, to be a translator, is it good, bad? Type on YouTube. To be a translator, is, is good or bad? 
Then a couple of translators can speak. It is good, it is bad, you will understand. Then maybe you can change, maybe. You can change your decision and find something else. YouTube is not just for entertainment. You can learn a lot. Right? Correct? Are you a gamer? Okay. <laughs> Do you play games? No. Never? I don't like. You, you like books, I, I think. You read books? Yeah. Okay. 50 50. I see. And how are you? I'm fine. Just fine? Yes. Still alive. Tired but good. Yeah. Do you work somewhere? Do you, do you come from work? Yo. No. Uh, I am uh, in home and I uh, went to speaking club. Mm hmm. Okay, you were at home, then you came to a speaking from club. Home. From home, okay. Yes. After speaking club, your lesson at seven. No. You go home? Uh, my lesson uh, is morning. Morning? Yes. That is interesting. Okay, good, good. And uh, today. Actually, today, I made a mistake, today. Uh, today there was a kind of rain, right? The weather was raining. Do you like rain? So, uh, I like it. You like, you like raining, rainy weather? Yes. Why, why is that? Is it romantic or something? Yes. Really? <laughs> Yeah, rain is uh, rain is problem. Really, traffic, small rain comes, stumble, finish. Because a lot of traffic, you know, cars, metro bus. Number two, you get wet. You have to carry an umbrella. Number three. You catch cold, hospital. Number four, you can be dirty, you know? The place around you can be dirty. These are problems. But the rainy weather cleans the atmosphere. Cleans, right? There's dirt, it cleans it. Then you can easily breathe. Right? You can breathe clean or fresh air. Yeah? Good. How about you? Do you like rain? Uh, 50-50. <laughs> that is interesting. Whatever I ask, she says 50-50. Do you like this? 50-50. you like that? 50-50. Uh, I like it. Like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you like it, sometimes you hate it. Yes. <laughs> it depends on your psychology, right? If you are happy, if you are happy, you like it. If you are unhappy, you hate it. Yes. I understand. Do you like rain? Yeah. Really? Why? It is beautiful? Yes, that is. And what about the snow? Do you like the snow? Um, I don't know. Uh, but I don't like it. Why? Because it's so cold. Yeah, when the snow comes, it means that winter is coming. And uh, because the snow is the symbol of winter. Rain is symbol of fall and spring, right? And sun is symbol of what is the symbol of sun? I mean, can you spell that symbol? Symbol S Y M 
B O L S Y M B O L Symbol Do you know symbol? No. <laughs> Understand? Yes. Um, Turkish says symbol. Okay, the same. Yes. Okay, when I mean what is, in which season symbol is sun? Summer? Yes, that's true. That's true. Is snow? Which which seasons? Winter. Winter. Rain? Fall. Fall or autumn? Fall is American. Autumn is British. They're the same. No problem. Fall and spring also. But spring has different also. I think different symbol. I think flower, right? Flower, flowers, or green, you know, uh, things are the symbol of spring, yeah, absolutely. But I hate cold weather. Do you like cold weather? So what is your favorite weather? I like summer because because mm. hot. it is a hot season. Yes. <laughs> okay, but if it is very hot, that is another problem. Trans hmm? warm, warm. Yeah. summer is not warm maybe. summer is hot <laughs> maybe no it is not maybe at night at night in the summer the weather is warm okay but in the in the afternoon it is really hot in summer which causes in other problems sea. Okay. It's warm. warm. <laughs> That's true, yeah. So, uh, in summer you go to swim. In Istanbul or Antalya? No. Uh, I don't know. Yes, you don't know how to swim. Yes. Okay, you can't. You can say, I cannot swim. I cannot. Yes. Or I can't. No problem. Cannot or can't, okay? I can't swim. All right. Yours, your favorite season and why? Why don't you like cold weather? Why? Not cold. I don't like this cold. <laughs> you don't like to wear coat? Yes. You know, yes, in, in winter we wear a lot of clothes, we walk like penguins. Yes. In summer we are free. A t-shirt and go out, right? That's true. You? Winter. You like winter? Why? Uh, because uh, we go to Konya uh, No, uh, in Konya. 
Mm -hmm. Konya is uh, a kind of cold uh, city, snowy city, right? Yeah. That's nice. And what about Istanbul's weather? Do you like Istanbul's weather? No. Why? It is dirty. It is dirty. Do you like Istanbul's weather? No, I hate Istanbul weather. Why? Dirty because. Do you like Istanbul's weather? It is dirty. That is true. Another point of Istanbul's weather is not stable. It changes a lot. Yes. It, it always changes. In the middle of the summer, it is hot. You go out, rain. You don't understand. Or in the middle of the winter, it is very cold, you go out, there is sun, you are sweating. I don't know, maybe that is because of global warming, maybe. Or it is just related to Istanbul's weather. But you are right, Istanbul's weather is dirty. Because of a lot of <clears throat> cars, cars are producing those dirts, yeah, smoke factories and lots of things right a lot of people a lot of garbage and these are harming the atmosphere they are harming the whole environment you're right what is uh, the ideal city in turkey uh, if, um, in terms of weather which city of Turkey has really amazing, beautiful weather? Korea. Really? But that is cold. These ladies don't like cold weathers. Summer. You should find a city which has a mild weather. You know mild? Mild means uh, in between, not cold, not hot, between. You see, she is taking notes. She's a good student. Mine You're a tired mine student. Mine. 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 Understand? Yes. So, what is the ideal city in Turkey which has a which has a Mild weather. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? You don't know Turkey? Uh, I don't know either. Why? <laughs> okay. Do you know? Connie. Connie. <laughs> you? Van. Van. One is very close to Iran, right? One is very cold. Very cold. I don't say cold weather. I say a city which has a mild weather. Mild. Do you know mild? M-I-L-D. Yes. Mild means between. This is hot. Resistant? No. This is hot, this is cold, hot, cold, mild, between. Yeah, mm. Okay. Agree? Do you agree? Yes? Have you traveled to Mula before? Have you gone yes. to Mula before? Really? Once. You you went, you traveled to Mula only for once? Before Corona? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I have 
to go. You had to go in the past. I had, right. to I had to go. Yes. Okay. Did you visit the city? No. Just yeah, yes, yes. You yes. visited the city? Yes. yes. Nice. Which one is better, Mula or Istanbul? Why? Um, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like Istanbul because traffic and <laughs> dirty and um, more people. Crowded, yes. Yes. That's true. Do you like Istanbul? Like Sivas? Yes. Are you from Sivas? Yes. Really? Yes. And you're from Konya? Yeah. You're from? Malatya. Malatya, yes. You told me I forgot. <laughs> That's true. That's nice. Okay, what do you have in your <clears throat> city, Najin? If I am a tourist, if I go to Malatya, she said, huh? If I if I go to Malatya, what can I do there? I went to Malatya. Okay. And I um, visited. I was visited or I visited? I visited. Umbrella Street. Umbrella Street? Yes. <laughs> you mean colorful umbrellas? Yes. That concept is available in, in Istanbul also. In some parts of Istanbul, there are some specific cities that there are like nice decoration, like umbrella decoration. Uh, yeah? There are fewer people in Malatya. Mm, fewer people. Nice. <laughs> you enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, the, the population of Istanbul is 15, 16 million? Yes. Istanbul has 16 million people, right? 16 million, officially. 10 million lives in Shirin. <laughs> Always crowded. Specifically, the Metro bus bridge. 24-7, always crowded. Always, always. 1 a.m. crowded. 2 a.m. crowded, 5 a.m. crowded, 10 p.m. crowded, 10 a.m. crowded, Bayram crowded, Corona crowded, Winter crowded. <laughs> Always! 10 million live in Shirinab. On the bridge, when you come, specifically around 7, people are coming, you know, like this. So many people are coming and going, you have to just dodge them, right? That is a big problem, right? If I go to... you said Sivas? Uh, have, you, have you visited Sivas before? Yes. I'm a tourist, I visit your city. What can I do there? You can visit the Ujami. Mm -hmm. Eat a hamburger. More than donut. You can you I can eat different types of donut. Yes. Different types. Or a uh, special type of donut. No. <laughs> different types. Special types? Meat, 
meatball, different types of meatball. Okay, so eat and just visit a couple of historical places. Is Sivas a big city or a small city? Big city, but uh, a little people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Few people. Okay, less crowded than Istanbul. I understand. What can I do in Konya? I know, I know that in Konya, uh, Molavi, you say Mevlana, right? We say Molavi. Molavi Rumi, right, was there, and there is a kind of specific dance, like uh, Sema, right, like dancing this way, and, you know, turning around, like, minimum 30 minutes, 40 high, yeah. 40 minutes, 50 minutes, they just turn, you know. Interesting, really different thing. What else, as a tourist, what can I do in Konya? Um, hmm? Ah, food. Yes. I can eat. What about the places? Any? Is there any museum, park, historical places, hmm, or some other places? Yeah. Butterfly? Butterfly body. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of butterflies? Butterfly yeah. jelly. Okay. There are lots of butterflies there. They come and sit here. Okay. You want to uh, take a picture? Can I make a this one? Yeah. There are some butterflies, big, right? Big butterflies. Yes. Or small. Uh, really big? Uh, big. Big ones. Okay. Any type. I understand. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Uh, Step by step, we can say um, goodbye. But do you have uh, do you have any class today at seven o'clock? Will you have a class here, or you go home after speaking club? No, I go home. You go home and finish. Yeah. <laughs> goodbye. I finish. And tomorrow at seven o'clock, six o'clock. Yes. Se seven. Six o'clock. Six o'clock you wake up. Yes. That is terrible. I mean difficult. At what time do you wake up every morning? It Ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve. <laughs> hmm? It depends, but uh, I have listen. University. No. English. Um, um, do do you come to American culture every day? No. Um, to Two Three times. Days. Three times a week. Yes. yes. I see. Um, I wake up ten o'clock. At ten o'clock? Uh, no, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Uh, maybe <laughs> I wake up. Maybe I should have make. Uh -huh. Three o'clock. Yes. That's good. Um, one o'clock, five o'clock, yes. <laughs> six o'clock, possible. <laughs> at what time do you sleep at night? Um, I sleep at. It depends. <laughs> but generally at two a.m., three a.m. <laughs> Half past one. Yes. At what time do you sleep? Eleven. No, ten p.m. Ten p.m. Yes. 
Okay, normal. At what time do you sleep? I at 10 p.m. Normal because they wake up early. Do you do you want to go back to uh, high school again? You miss high school, or you hate it? Uh, I have open education. In high school? Uh, no. No, I know, I know. Do you want to go back to high school? No. No? <laughs> Why? Because you have to wake up early. Yes. And I don't like high school because uh, I was little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are not little, actually. Okay. <laughs> You mean physically little, right? Yes. I understand. Okay, that's all right. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.